E. Pluribusinum Physic. March 25, 2016. This video begins with Jeffrey Chu's own autobiographical history from a passion for physics. 1985 including how in the Washington Post he exposed the Manhattan Project in 1943 in Washington, D.C. This video begins with a picture of federal government computer wiretapping on July 14, 2013 followed by the government email address of Jeffrey Chu today who is on the federal payroll on this date March 25, 2016. At one minute a picture of the human brain and pure gravitational thinking is exhibited and at 1.36 minutes, one page with a letter of November 16, 1970 from John Archibald Wheeler is exhibited with hierarchical structure laws 1 and 2 namely a pure gravitational unified field structure and structure law 2. The alpha lattice which are derived from Albert Einstein's relativity. Three pages considerations on the universe as a whole. Seen with that same November 16, 1970 Wheeler letter requesting calculation. At 2.46 minutes, you see the combined email addresses of Gross, Chu and Hartle in the event they contest the physics presented in Structure Laws 1 and 2. Gross, Chu and Hartle should be called to the task and a demand for reply should be implemented by the U.S. government and press. At 1.41 minutes audio of laughing at UCSB, KIPP on October 7, 2000 for at the Nobel ceremony begins and is heard through to 26 minutes. E. Pluribusinum Physic contends that no one in the world, beginning with children, dare laugh that structure laws 1 and 2 of hierarchical cosmology gravitational physics. This video is four minutes in length and we claim totally devastates, censures, and censors the evil mindset of the Wheeler, Chu, Gross, Hartle, 46-year censor of children's hierarchical cosmology and gravitation. The video begins now with the challenge to Chu, Gross, Hartle at birth carefully and you see XB Santa Barbara 2 contest.
I'm Frances Hellman, I'm a professor and I'm and chair of the physics department and I'd like to welcome you to the first of what will I believe be many public lectures sp sponsored by the Berkeley Center for Theoretical Physics. So this center, and I think many of you were just at the reception for this, was formed to bring together some of the greatest minds in theoretical physics to search for answers to some of the most pressing questions about the universe. And our speaker today is an illustrious example of one of those minds. I'm Frances Hellman, I'm a professor and I'm and chair of the physics department and I'd like to welcome you to the first of what will I believe be many public lectures sp sponsored by the Berkeley Center for Theoretical Physics. So this center, and I think many of you were just at the reception for this, was formed to bring together some of the greatest minds in theoretical physics to search for answers to some of the most pressing questions about the universe and our speaker today is an illustrious example of one of those minds. So events that, like this lecture are part of the mission of this center to not only bring together those minds but to bring some of that science out to the public as well.